Welcome all you Scorpios to your monthly reading for the month of April and we're going to be focusing in on the heart chakra this month asking how can we open ourselves up more to love. We've been looking at the chakras each month starting in January and here we are in the fourth month of the year already. Can't believe it, but we're moving into the fourth chakra which is the heart and what a perfect time for it too because we're also moving into Aries which starts us all over for our solar solar year moving from Aries all the way through to Pisces. So what a great way to start that new solar year then with the heart, right? And our ancestors wanted to be a part of this reading this month. So we're going to start off by pulling a card from these angels and ancestor oracle. And we're just going to be asking them and creator and spirit, of course, what they'd like us to know in general about opening up more to love. So for all our Scorpios, what would you like them to know, please, regarding opening to love for April? Okay. Right off the bat here, you have the sage. Be devoted and committed. So beautiful energy here. And we will see what message that brings. I really feel just intuitively that being devoted and committed to your self-love is a big piece of this. We'll see what else comes out here, of course. And it says, be willing to go the whole road and back again. This will allow you to be the best you can possibly be. The sage represents the wise one within. And when this card arises, it shows that you are preparing to become a great and insightful teacher to your peers. It guides you to take notes as the wandering yogi is on, his, uh, on this card because your knowledge and life experiences can impact incredible insights to those with whom you come into contact. This card is also about observation and becoming more aware of who you are and of all your inner workings because that awareness can bring more clarity to your decisions. The extended message for this, it says, is devotion is a powerful energy. Right now, angels and ancestors want you, I'm sorry, want to acknowledge how committed you are to your growth. Your continued dedication to this aspect of your life has been recognized, and your understanding that you are not only a body, but also a soul, is all you need to continue growing and expanding. The energy of oneness is offering itself to you now, and it's important you take some time to integrate it all so that you can be supported and guided by it. This is what the divine wants for you. Make a note of experiences or teachers making themselves known to you at this time because you are going to share those teachings one day too. So this is beautiful. It is, you know, how can you open up more to love? It's about connecting that to that awareness that you are so much more than just a human body. You are also a soul. And that in this journey, in this experience of expanding love is such an important one. It's the journey of all of us. And that the teachings, the experiences that you have gleaned up to this point and that you will continue to learn and grow throughout your entire life, that you have this beautiful ability to help others and teach them your experiences, teach them the knowledge that you had and that you've gleaned during this time, and it'll help them on their journey into their heart as well. We're also going to pull from the tarot, of course, and each month what I do is I take a tarot deck and I split out these major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana, and I'll talk about those in a moment. But the major arcana cards are like this card, where it represents what the ancestors, what the creator and spirit want you to know in general about this month and opening up more to love. And this tarot deck is the Ancestral Path Tarot, because again, the ancestors wanted to be such an important part of this reading this month. So for our Scorpios, what else would you like them to know? About opening up more to love in the month of April. Okay, they do want to that one there. 
Yep, you have the world. And this is perfect because this is the ending of major cycles, which brings the beginning of a completely new part of your journey. And this isn't like, um, you know, when we're going into the uh, minor arcana here in a moment, those are more about this period of time that you're in, whereas the major arcana are about your life. And so this is a huge life cycle change and it's beautiful so we'll get more into understanding what it's about as we go in deeper here but obviously it's about opening up more to love and that's what the impact that it's going to have on you but we're going to move into the minor arcana which do represent the four different areas of our life of this human experience and we're going to start off with the fire element which is normally the wand suit in the standard tarot in this one, they call it the staves or stabs. And this is your drive, your ambition, your aha inspiration, your passion, your energy, your spiritual energy. So for this reading, this is going to be what your ancestors, the creator and spirit want you to know about your energetic adventure, your spiritual energy or spiritual adventure during the month of April. So our Scorpios, what would you like them to know, please? Okay. Yeah, you got the king of stabs, which would be the highest level that you can reach in the uh, suit. And of course, being the highest spiritual energy or highest energy you can experience, that would be connecting to your higher self. We talked about that with this sage card here too, about you know being congratulated for this knowledge of that you're so much more than the human, that you are also this powerful soul this spirit being that is made of unconditional love. And so this is part of your spiritual adventure, is connecting even higher with your higher self. <laughs> We're also gonna, of course, pull an oracle card here from the Return of Spirit deck. We'll just see what else they want you to know as well here. All right, so spirit. Okay, wow, okay. So you got three cards. <laughs> I love it. You are gifted. So if you had any doubt in that you have something to share with the world, they are letting you know that, that you definitely are. So we're gonna put that one right there. And yeah, you got the shifting card, which you've got the green of the heart chakra, which we have all the green. And then you also have the pink, which is the higher heart represented here. And you do have this shifting that's happening to this higher place. So that makes total sense. And celestial, which again, a lot of pink and a higher heart here. And so definitely there's this reiteration here about the power of who you are and that you are definitely shifting into this higher place. They do want me to read the celestial piece here. And Cheryl Lee Harnish, who's the creator of this deck and uh, of the book, of course, she says things so eloquently. I just want to read this here. It says the celestial card brings with it divine energies of the benevolent beings who are here to assist you with your human journey of incarnation. Perhaps you have been struggling to understand exactly what your purpose or soul's role is on earth. You could doubt whether you even have a purpose or if you hold any special gifts or qualities. <laughs> this card has come to you today to reassure you that you are indeed uniquely gifted in your own special way. So they're definitely reiterating that here. The celestial beings who love and support you here want to ease your worry and doubt. Most people find their purpose almost if by accident, and although it would be nice to have a magical scroll fall from the heavens, which stated clearly what we are here to do, it's not going to happen that way. Darn it, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we must discover this for ourselves, this whole sage thing. It is the act of struggle and effort itself which reveals to us our strengths and gifts. Each unique aspect of your 
of you and your life path is revealed in its own divine time. Your divine celestial beings are asking you to hold on to your faith, to trust the journey of discovery you're taking, and to believe in yourself. They ask that you simply take action and step forward, whether you feel confident or not. It's the movement forward that matters most here. You just might make a discovery about yourself in a way in which you least expect. The entire universe is supporting you at this time. Do not give up on yourself. You're not alone or forgotten down here. Spirit is here with you, loving and guiding you each step of the way. You are on the path you're meant to be on and doing exactly what you should be to take you to where you need to go. Yeah, definitely the sage journey is being reiterated for you here as well. And I definitely love that. You are definitely gifted. You are here on purpose for a purpose. And then we're going to move into the earth element here, which where this is your inner spiritualness. We'll talk about your mental and emotional area of your life here in a moment. Those are inner and the earth, which is the pentacles or in this one, they call it the sacred circles, is the external world. So all those characters that are on this stage with us, all the props, even our physical body, all that that's going on in the outside world. So this represents what your ancestors, greater spirit, want you to know about your physical outward adventure during the month of April. So what would you like our Scorpios to know? Okay. You've got the Eight of Sacred Circles. Yeah, this is definitely about moving to a new place, moving to a higher level in the outside world. And that can be relationships, education, knowledge, um, jobs, whatever it might be um, in the outside world. Think of it like a, an apprentice who's been studying under a master for many, you know, many years and doing the work and putting all the effort in and then now you are ready to move from apprentice to master you're ready to move from assistant manager to manager you're ready to graduate from something and move to this next level in the outside world which makes sense because this new cycle that's that's happening here this new information this new like experiencing and understanding what it is your gift is if you don't have an inkling of it then this inner search connecting to the higher realms is where you're going to find your true passion, how you uniquely want to share your unconditional love with the world in your own special and unique way. Because the apprentice, though they learn to kind of duplicate what their master does, like a blacksmith does, when they move on to the master level, they move away from the, you know, the, their master, they take on a new apprentice and you move on and you start creating your own unique ways, your own unique twists and expressing those to the world as well. So I love that for you. Definitely a, a moving up. And then we're going to get clarity from this clarity deck. And this is created by this great group called Girls Gone Happy. And I just love that name of that company. And this is just more clarity around your external world from spirit and your ancestors and the creator on your external experience during the month of April. So, okay, there we go. <laughs> you have a topic card of family. So there is this family understanding, this clarity that comes and I kind of feel, especially with it being pink, which is the higher heart, it is connecting to your true family. You know, we have the physical realm. This is this is coming out in the physical realm here, but it's really understanding that you have a family that's so much more than your physical family, your blood family. Of course, you have all your ancestors that are making themselves known here going, hey, don't forget your ancestors. We've been here and we're a part of you. We're part of your blood and part of your DNA and the makeup of who you are. But we're also around you spiritually, you know, your celestial beings and celestial family here making themselves known here for you as well. And there's this clarity that comes that you get to choose your family. You don't, can't choose your blood relatives, but you can choose who your family is, both 
spiritually in the external world, just understanding you have that large posse of support on the other sides, all those beings of unconditional love and light, you know, your ancestors, greater spirit, your guardian angel, your angels, your spirit guides, your loved ones that were here and are on the other side too, that they are all with you, even though you can't see them in the physical realm, they are all around you as well. And then you got metamorphosis. Yes, there is this change that's happening. You have this movement to the new level. You've changed. How? What needs to happen so you can accept those changes and thereby bring movement into this area of your life? Yeah. <laughs> so you definitely, you know, with this gifts, recognizing this gifts that you have and the recognizing that you have something uniquely to give to the world and this movement, this change that happens is perfect. And then we're moving into the air element, which is the swords suit. And this is all about the mind. So it's your mindsets, your beliefs, your attitudes, your expectations, and just your thoughts. So it's all your mental adventure during the month of April. So for our Scorpios, what would you like them to know, please? Okay, we do have two here. And the first one is the Four of Swords. That is great. This is peace of mind and rest and relaxation. Uh, I love this card too, because I think fours is a solid mind. Uh, four huge legs on a table make for a very solid table. And so your thoughts and beliefs become more solid during this month of April. And you can see here in the background, you have these three swords that are over this uh, doorway here and you have the three people that are walking through that portal and leaving and what that represents the three of swords is the card of the, I call it the card of expectations because usually there's a heart on it with three swords stuck in it and it represents all our expectations of the outside world everything that we were taught growing up all those popular opinions of popular opinions all the supposed to's and the should's and the need to's and the have to's and the must's in order to you to feel lovable and acceptable. It's all those thoughts and those beliefs of the human, of the fear-based world, of the fight or flight mode. And the peace of mind comes because she's got, those are the three swords, but you've got the four sword down here, which the fourth sword is the ace of swords that she's holding, which is allowing her to connect to the higher truths the capital T truths of the spiritual world, of this higher self, of the sage. You know, you're getting and gleaning the wisdom of what is truly true and what is opinion of the outside world. And because of that, she's able to connect to the capital T truths, but it also gives her the ability to slice away and cut away the small T truths that no longer serve her. Because she did want to experience all of that disappointment that comes from expectations just all that stress, all those uncomfortable emotions that come from those shoulds. And I'm supposed to be this and supposed to do that. And I'm not gifted. No, you know, all those beliefs. These are the things that are being cut away during this month. Yeah. Because <laughs> here's the Ten of Swords. And there you are, exhausted. They're not dead, they're just exhausted because all these expectations, these are all the small T truths that basically have betrayed you. They've stabbed you in the back. They were supposed to make you feel whole and complete and all of that, but what did they do? They did the opposite, right? And this is great though, because the 10 is endings and new beginnings. So along with this world card here, and I do want to put this up here because this is this release that ace of swords you have the peace of mind does come as you're cutting away these thoughts and these beliefs that no longer serve you and they're looking away from us in the picture to the sunrise and that's the new horizon coming the new beginning that's coming for you so i love it we're also going to pull an oracle card from this numerology guidance cards to see what else they want you to know about your mental adventure So for our Scorpios, what else would you like them to know, please? And 
Metamorphosis too, I, I, they just triggered this in my uh, mind to tell you because Scorpios are like the metamorphosis, the, tr the major masters of transformation of the zodiac. Because you start off as a scorpion and then you transform into a snake and then you transform into an eagle and then you transform into a phoenix ultimately. You know, your scorpion is like when this, you know, when you uh, feel attacked, you attack back and it strikes, right? A snake still can strike, but it's it's not as reactive and it starts, sh it sheds its skin as it grows, right? And then you move into this eagle who is able to fly above and see things from a higher perspective, still swooping down to protect what's important to you, but they fly back up and look from above and can see. Um, you know, with very fine uh, eagle eyes, right? They can see very small things from with a higher perspective, though. And then ultimately, the phoenix is that transformation where the all this burns down, right? And you rise from the ashes as this new creation, this newer, higher, more strengthened, powerful being, right? So they wanted to mention that with that metamorphosis, too. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, because here's the 10. Karmic completion. Again, you are experiencing what you came here to experience. And this 10 and the 10, endings and new beginnings. Um, and um, they do want me to read this from the book here too. So let me do that. Yep, so the end of a karmic lesson or cycle. So like we talked about, that's the ending of major cycles where you have successfully cleared a contract or debt from your past. This could refer to a challenging situation that you've recently conquered in your life or a troubling experience with an individual that involved a great deal of effort or pain. Even though there are ongoing lessons to confront throughout the course of your life, you will never have to experience this particular lesson again. This card also represents the Wheel of Fortune, where whatever goes up must also come down. Just as the tides are constantly ebbing and flowing, you're being encouraged to adapt to both the highs and the lows in your life. For it is your ability to adapt that you will make your dreams come true. By stating, this too shall pass in the face of each and every experience, you'll remain centered, grounded, and stable. So pat yourself on the back and acknowledge your efforts and your achievements by continuing to face your challenges head on and treating others with love and respect, you'll be rewarded beyond your wildest dreams. Yep. So perfect. <laughs> that reiterated a lot of what we've talked about. And then we move into your suit, the final suit, which is water. And this is the cup suit, and this represents our emotions. So we'll see what the creator, your ancestors and spirit, would like you to know about your emotional adventure during the month of April. And of course, this is not anything scary for a water sign. This is where you live and breathe all your life. So you're like, yeah, yeah, emotions, it's motions, right? Wow. Okay. So we got these two here. And yep. So you have the Prince of Cups, which would be the Knight of Cups in the Standard Tarot. And all the knights have their quest, and he actually is in search of the Holy Grail, the chalice, that which holds the living waters, the unconditional love of the higher realms. And that's what you find, you know, with your higher self, with you, from your celestial family. And, uh, but it's beautiful because this is about movement and about action in pursuit of that higher love, which this reading is all about <laughs> the heart and the pursuit opening our heart more to love. And this is the unconditional love that will allow you to open up more. Because yep, then you have also have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups, solid mind, solid emotions. So that is beautiful for you there. And, you know, there is this wonderful, you know, uh, emotion like we're talking about the expectations there the three cups 
that are normally on this card. Normally you'd see like someone leaning up against a tree and three cups down below and then another cup being offered from the side, uh, which is the Holy Grail, <laughs> the Ace of Cups. And those other three cups represent looking outside of yourself for your emotional fulfillment, which is of relationships, which is of situations, which is of things. And so looking outside for those things, that's when we have that emotional disappointment. But we understand that those are all unstable because people change or pass away. Situations never stay the same and things break down, deteriorate or are stolen. And so all of those emotional things that we look for in the outside world eventually turn us inward. And that's that sage. This is that journey that we've been talking about this whole time that you come for and you find the Holy Grail because it's offered to you. And then one little sip of that cup fulfills you more than the entire times you drank from the outside world the whole time. So there is this wonderful transformation, this metamorphosis that's happening with you and all this beautiful information that you're getting as you shift into this celestial understanding of who you really are. And then lastly, we're going to pull a card here from the Power of Surrender Oracle. And because this is the final card, it could still represent what they want you to know about your emotional adventure. But since it's the last card, we're going to let it be a wild card. And it's whatever else the ancestors, your creator and spirit want you to know about your month of April and opening up more to love. So for our Scorpios, what would you like them to know, please? Okay, that one right there. Yep, surrender your fear of intimacy. And that says you are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. <laughs> well, so this is exactly the whole <laughs> meaning of this of this entire reading, right? Is like, yeah, well, that's what we want to know. So compassionately identifying and beginning to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So stopping old patterns, ending old cycles and beginning new ones. So this is all, all well uh, intertwined together. All of this is so beautiful for you. And I'm excited for you opening up your heart more and more because you certainly deserve this love of this holy grail, this chalice that's full of the unconditional love essence of the creator of all things. So I am loving this for you. If you do want even more messages of love from above, I do offer, in addition to these monthly readings, weekly energy updates for each of the elements like water signs, fire signs, etc., new moon and full moon readings, and a variety of other readings and videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button, also click on the subscribe button and that's going to give you notification or access to this notification bell, I should say. And when you go in there, if you select all, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel throughout the month. Also, doing those things helps spread the love because if you like a video, you share a video, you comment on a video, or you subscribe to the channel, those things just make the YouTube algorithm so happy they want to share the videos on that channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, I am grateful for that. Also, these are general readings. If you want even more specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and all that information is listed in the description box below. All right, Scorpios, as you go throughout this amazing April and every second of every day of your life, please know that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing April. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon, but until then, you hang in there and you take care.